Hey, what's happening, everyone? I'm Sir James, coming at you guys with another video, and today I have yet another lightsaber to review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Vader's Vault Ardent, not the Ardent Elite, just so there's no confusion. Now, I know some of you might be saying, wait, another Vader's Vault? What happened to some of the other companies that you used to do last year? Not to worry, because just like you guys, I have hilts that are on pre-order, which means I have to wait just like you guys. It's always the same process over and over again, but I do have some hilts coming in from Ultima Works, at least one of them at the moment, and a few surprises along the way, which I want to keep secret until that time comes. But until then, I still want to give a big thank you to my good friend Xander for loaning out some of his Beta Vault lightsaber hilts that I have yet to review here on the channel to review for you guys and to give my honest opinion. And this is definitely another hilt that I'm liking from their lineup. Like I said, this happens to be the Ardent Hilt, not the Ardent Elite, as the Elite one seems to have some more extra elements going along its way. Also too, I do want to apologize if you hear any form of crunching sounds throughout this review. Flower over here is enjoying a delicious dog bone, and I would hate to interrupt her enjoyment of said bone. Just so you guys are aware, but again, it shouldn't be too much of a distraction. If you have dogs, you understand. If you don't, well, you should definitely look into them because dogs are awesome. But like I said, this is the Vader's Vault Ardent. If you never heard of Vader's Vault, they are definitely a trustworthy company. However, do know they do have a little bit of an extensive wait time as the hilts are made to order. So if you're more of the impatient side, then maybe another company might be best suited for you. Or you could happen to wait for the Vader's Vault ready to ship so, which whenever the next one pops up, I'll be sure to let you guys know. So that way you guys could try to check it out for yourself. Maybe attempt to get one. Or see some of the really cool creative hilts that they have, uh, limited uh, one-offs and so forth, uh, which are always cool to see what they put out each and every time they do one of those. So before I give you guys a closer look, I actually want to try something new, as I recently built a really cool display that I think would look great for not only um, photos that I like to do for Instagram, but maybe uh, for now lightsaber reviews. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put this unit into my new display and give you guys a closer look of the entire hilt. Let me know if you guys like the new setup. If so, I would like to continue to use it. If not, and you just want me to kind of move up to the camera, give you a closer look, also let me know. But let's go ahead and switch to the new setup and take a closer look at the Evader's Vault Ardent. All right, welcome back. So hopefully you guys can let me know what you thought of that initial setup. If you like the idea, if you don't, also please let me know. But as always, if you never heard of Vader's Vault, uh, anytime you get a saber from Vader's Vault, you're gonna get the basic default packages when it comes to the included saber fonts. But each and every one of these uh, Vader Vault lightsabers do include one exclusive sound font that is exclusive to that particular help, meaning that you can't just go to a website like Saber Font or any of the other font makers out there and purchase said font. It's gonna be exclusive to that corresponding help. So which means if you're someone that has a big collection like my good friend Xander, that means you're gonna have more access to the fonts already, just so you guys are aware. But I did add some extra fonts on here just so that way we have a little bit of extra things to listen to. Maybe some things you may have heard or maybe have not heard as I have two new fonts that I've added on here, which I think you guys will get a kick out of it, especially Darth Jar Jar Binks. That's right, the dark side version of Jar Jar. So let's go ahead and incorporate a blade here. Now, if you do choose to get a blade from Vader's Vault, you do get a lovely 32 inch NeoPixel blade to start with. But because of the spacing in my room, I am currently using a little bit of a smaller blade, non-Vader's Vault related, uh, which is going to run at about 28 inches, making my job a little bit easier, and hopefully I don't hit or break anything along the way. And by the way, I finally got a new tip for my blade that was missing one, thanks to my little brother. Uh, well, missing one to begin with. 
go ahead and turn this light off. And as always, we're going to be starting with the exclusive Saber Fun. Fart. So that's what happens when you wake it up and go ahead and turn this sucker on. Now, right now it's currently on blue, but as always, since these are NeoPixel lightsabers, you can go ahead and change the colors easily as Vader's Vault is going to be using CFX. So by pressing the two buttons in together, you'll go in to the uh, color profile, spectrum. such as Spectrum, and you can go ahead and choose whatever color you want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one. Let's go with... I want green. Oh. So I'm going to go ahead and choose green. Now, before you even select the color, you can hold it down and go to a color profile, and which in this case, you can go ahead and kind of alternate between different effects. But usually for the Vader's Vault stuff, or at least with CFX, I like to keep it a little bit more on the simpler side of things. So again, this is the exclusive font. Pretty nice one. I think I like the one from the last review a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, this one's alright. It seems a little bit more standard, but somewhat exclusive. This one's just okay. Let's go ahead and go to now some of the fonts that I've added on here. Sound bank selection. I figured might as well add Grievous on here because a lot of you guys like to make references to Grievous and I'm wearing my new General Grievous t-shirt. Now because General Grievous does have at least four lightsabers that he carries with him, maybe more, uh, you know, he's got blue and green uh, for the colors, so I decided to go with the blue one for this one, as I don't really have four arms to wield multiple lightsabers. I only have two, but I have tried. As far as the comfortness of the hilt, it actually feels very comfortable in the hands, easy to grip and easy to swing around. So if you're someone that likes to do any kind of saber flows and whatnot, you could easily do so comfortably with this hilt. If you wanted to add additional grip, you can do so, but I don't feel like the additional grip is quite needed on this design. Let's go ahead and change to another one. Sound bank selection. Uh, this one's a TIE Fighter font, so a little bit different, not your typical standard font, but if you guys like TIE Fighters, then, well, you're going to probably like this font. I already turned it off while I was trying to swing it. Turn this on once again. Now there is a small button on the back which will indicate for your blasters and whatnot while the main button on the top with this uh, LED is gonna be the activation. Always fun to listen to. I think it would be cool if I had like a TIE Fighter model and was able to incorporate a soundboard in it so that way you just, you know, be in the room just t flying a TIE Fighter. I'm pretty sure everyone's got the same idea, at least most people. Sound bank selection. Uh, it is the Dark Saber. Uh, this one's called Dark Star. I think this is from Brie Pulse Customs, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Your thoughts, your actions, they become energy. They flow through the crystal as well and become a part of the blade.
So as you can already tell, I love the sound of it. I just love the dark saber in general. And I do like this version too, where it's incorporated the uh, Rebels version of it with um, uh, the main characters. It's just a, one of those really cool moments that I've enjoyed. And then I think we have about one or two more. Sound bank selection. It is this is my apprentice, Darth Binks. So here's our Darth Binks. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you are under arrest, Chancellor. You said let me say handle this. I promise the Jedi Master and Mace will be some no trouble for you. So this is a new one that I recently added. Someone notified me during one of my live streams that there's a Darth Jar Jar Binks font on there, so I immediately had to add it because I love Jar Jar as a character. Some of you may or may not agree, but I think he's a cool character overall. And this is a really nice, good sounding font too. A very nice saber indeed but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below overall I think this is a great help to add to your collection if this is something that you have an interest for but at the moment as of this review going up it is currently unavailable but soon enough it will be coming back once again but if you enjoyed this video or if you like the new setup please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next week for another saber review but hopefully before then I'll be posting some additional photos uh, before next Friday. Until then, I'll see you guys next time and may the force be with you.